In this video, we'll be taking best places to visit in Switzerland. For ravishing alpine scenery and quaint villages oozing storybook charm, it's hard to beat Switzerland. The soaring snow-capped peaks of the Alps, glittering blue lakes, emerald valleys, glaciers, and picturesque lakeside hamlets imbue this landlocked nation with a fairy tale beauty. Snuggled amid the mountain valleys and lakes lie world-class international resorts and a long list of things to do, including hiking, biking, climbing, paragliding, skiing, and tobogganing. Travelers come here for jaw-dropping scenery, but are charmed by the many cultural attractions. Steeped in history, cities such as Zurich, Geneva, and Lausanne offer excellent museums and galleries, historic buildings, and renowned music festivals. The capital is Bern, with a stunning medieval old town hugging the crook of a river. Germany, Italy, Austria, and France border Switzerland, and their languages and customs infuse this country with a multicultural sophistication. Explore this spectacular country with our list of the top attractions and best places to visit in Switzerland. Number 1. The Matterhorn The Matterhorn, Switzerland's iconic pointed peak, is one of the highest mountains in the Alps. On the border with Italy, this legendary peak rises to 4,478 meters, and its four steep faces lie in the direction of the compass points. The first summiting in 1865 ended tragically when four climbers fell to their death during the descent. Today, thousands of experienced climbers come here each summer. At the foot of this mighty peak lies the charming village of Zermatt, a top international resort with horse-drawn carriage rides, quaint chalets, and world-class restaurants and hotels. To preserve the air quality and peaceful ambience, motorized vehicles are banned in the village. In the winter, skiers can scuss down more than 300 kilometers of slopes. In the summer, swimming and tennis are popular pursuits, as well as hiking, biking, and climbing in the surrounding mountains. Summer glacier skiing is also available. Number 2. Jung Frajok, the top of Europe. One of the most popular things to do in the beautiful Bernese Oberland is the train journey to Jung Frajok, the top of Europe, with an observation terrace and scientific observatory perched at 3,454 meters. The longest glacier in Europe, the Grey Aletsch Glacier begins at Jung Frajok and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The famous Eiger Trail from the Eiger Glacier Station to Alpiglin clings to the rocks at the foot of the North Face. Other popular walks include Panorama Way to the sunny, south-facing First Slope, the Gletscherschlucht, Glacier Gorge, and a Feldschäckliweg, the high-altitude trail from Hohenstein to Brandeig through fields of flowers, alpine pastures, and woodland. The less active can ride gondolas and cable cars to scenic viewpoints over the Lauterbrunnen Valley. Picturesque Grindelwald is a glacier village in the Jungfrau region, which makes a great base for adventures into the surrounding mountains. It nestles at the base of snow-cloaked mountains and is one of Switzerland's oldest and most popular resorts. Towering above this alpine valley is the terror-shaped Wetterhorn and the sheer north face of the Eiger, one of the planet's most dramatic and difficult climbs. Between the mountains lie Grindelwald's two glinting glaciers. For the best views, Fallhorn, at 2,681 meters, offers breathtaking panoramas of the giant peaks. Number 3. 
Interlaken. Nestled between Lake Thun to the west and Lake Breens to the east, Interlaken is one of Switzerland's most popular summer holiday resorts. In the center of town, Hoimat is a marvel of urban planning with 35 acres of open space, flower gardens, hotels, and cafes surround the Hoimat. are prime pursuits. More than 45 mountain railways, cable cars, chairlifts, and ski lifts transport visitors into the surrounding countryside and offer plenty of chances for sightseeing from up above. In the winter, skiers and snowboarders can take their pick from the surrounding resorts and cross-country ski along the extensive trail network. In the summer, paragliders launch from Bietenberg Niederhorn. To admire the scenery from lower elevations, hop aboard a paddle steamer for a cruise around the lakes. Number 4. Lucerne Imagine a sparkling blue lake surrounded by mountains, a car-free medieval old town, covered bridges, waterfront promenades, frescoed historic buildings, and sun-splashed plazas with bubbling fountains. No wonder Lucerne, in German, Luzern is a top spot for tourists. Famed for its music concerts, this quintessential Swiss town lures renowned soloists, conductors, and orchestras to its annual international music festival. The Culture and Convention Center is home to one of the world's leading concert halls, one of the city's most famous landmarks is the Chapel Bridge, built in the 14th century. In a small park lies the famous Lion Monument, a poignant sculpture of a dying lion, which honors the heroic death of Swiss guards during the attack on the Tuileries in the French Revolution. History buffs will enjoy the Swiss Transport Museum, with extensive exhibits on all forms of transport including air and space travel, railroad locomotives, and a planetarium. For beautiful views of Lucerne, the Alps, and the lake, ride the funicular to the Dietzschreiberg on the north side of Lake Lucerne. Cruise up Mate Pilatus on the cableway, or head to the Rigi, a famous lookout point. Number 5. Lake Geneva Lake Geneva, Europe's largest alpine lake, straddles the Swiss-slash-French border and laps at the shores of some of Switzerland's most popular cities. The city of Geneva, in French Genin, in German Genf, sits between pretty snow-capped peaks at the point where the Rhone spills into Lake Geneva. This French-speaking capital of peace is the European seat of the United Nations and exudes a pleasing blend of French joy, diviver, and Swiss structure. Promenades, parks, and gardens surround the lake, and the old town is a lovely spot to stroll among the historic buildings. The Jet d'Eau, a fountain in Lake Geneva, shooting water 150 meters into the air, is a famous landmark. Cultural attractions include the Opera House and the Grand Chahar, which stages international acts. Also on the lake, about 62 kilometers from Geneva, Lausanne boasts lovely views over the surrounding region and the lake, with the Alps rising in the distance. Take a stroll through the medieval old town with its cute cafes and boutiques and stunning Gothic cathedral. At the foot of the Alps, on Lake Geneva, Montreux hosts the world-famous Montreux Jazz Festival in June-slash-July. Lakes, glaciers, jagged peaks, alpine forests, 
and oodles of sunshine make Street Moritz one of the world's top mountain destinations and a must visit on your list of things to do in Switzerland. Palatial hotels and pricey restaurants are par for the course at this chic resort town, which has hosted two Winter Olympics. Sitting in an alpine valley 1,800 meters above sea level, the town is divided into two parts. Street Moritzdorf sits on a sunny terrace overlooking the lake of Street Moritz. The other part of town, Lakeside Street Moritz Bad on the valley floor, is a health resort with less expensive lodging. Winter sports run the gamut from skiing, snowboarding, skating, and bobsledding to tobogganing on the famous 1.2-kilometer long Cresta Run. In the summer, hiking, biking, and water sports abound. Glacier skiing is also available in the summer. Adding to all this spectacular mountain scenery, Street Moritz is a cultural crossroads. Romance, German, Italian, French, and English are all spoken in the surrounding areas, not to mention the different languages of the many well-heeled international visitors and expats. <music>location perched on a peninsula of the river Ohr, the Swiss capital of Bern exudes old world charm and the city's medieval old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Strolling along the cobbled streets, visitors can explore the tallest cathedral in Switzerland with panoramic views from its tower, 16th century fountains, the Ziglog medieval clock tower with moving puppets and six kilometers of shopping arcades, called Laubin by the locals. The Rose Garden, Rosengarten, offers beautiful views of the old town center. Bern has many tourist attractions waiting to be discovered, including excellent museums. Art lovers will appreciate the impressive galleries, including the Zentrum Paul Klee, the world's largest collection of works by this famous artist, and the Bern Museum of Art, Kunstmuseum. Don't miss the markets held in the Bundesplatz, Parliament Square, with views of the elegant Renaissance-style Parliament building, Bundeshaus. Families will also enjoy a visit to the Bear Park. city, a major transportation hub, and a top starting point for travelers. The city lies at the northwestern end of Lake Zurich, astride the River Limet. Beyond its buttoned-up facade, this affluent banking capital boasts a rich lineup of cultural treasures. A great place to begin a walking tour is the cobbled streets of the old town with its quaint shops, cafes, and galleries. Mile-long Bonhofstrasse, one of Europe's finest shopping strands beckons with designer stores selling fashion, watches, and jewelry. Venturing away from the boutiques, visitors will find more than 50 museums and 100 art galleries, as well as many other tourist attractions. A top pick is the Kunsthaus Zurich, the Museum of Fine Arts, with an impressive collection of art from the Middle Ages to the present day. Another favorite is the Reitberg Museum, focusing on non-European art with many works from China, India, and Africa. A short stroll from Zurich's main station, the Swiss National Museum, in a Gothic chateau, spotlights Swiss cultural history. Families will love the Zurich Zoo with an elephant park, penguin parade, and Madagascar pavilion. From the city, take a train ride to Uetliberg Mountain for panoramic views of the city and countryside. Number 9. The Rhine Falls Spanning 150 meters, the Rhine Falls, Rheinfall, at Schaffhausen are the largest falls in Central Europe. The best time to visit is during June and July when the mountain snow melts and the falls swell in volume 
to spill over a 21-meter-high ledge of Jurassic limestone. Boat trips up the Rhine provide excellent views of the falls, as do the viewing platforms on both sides of the river. Number 10. The Albula Slash Bernina Railway Line One of the very few railway lines in the world, designated as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage listing, the Albula Slash Bernina Line on the Reation Railways offers a majestic ride not to be missed. The route extends throughout the Albula and Bernina landscapes, covering 122 kilometers and winding through almost 200 bridges the Grobunden Mountains, and a number of tunnels and viaducts along the way. A ride on this train means panoramic seats that overlook unspoiled mountain landscapes, including the Pisbernina, the highest mountain in the Eastern Alps at just over 4,000 meters tall. The train operates all year long, and the views are just as magical in summer as they are in winter. We hope you enjoyed our journey through some of the best places to visit in Switzerland. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching.